You don't want anything to happen to your friends, do you? Yes. yes. <laughs> I doubt that's how you really feel. I'll ask oh you once again. <laughs> you don't want anything to happen to your friends, do you? Yes. I doubt well, that's wait. how you really feel. <laughs> we have got all day. Thank you for your, co your eventual cooperation. We'll be waiting for the rest. Spits on you. That was the true uh, horror of it for him. Is just that they wouldn't allow him to stop conversating <laughs> until we get that final star. We're all looking for that last star, aren't we? <coughs> yes. <laughs> but it's just always out of reach, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Get some like blues playing. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that in post. Sage. <laughs> what a bulker. All right. Okay. Let's go all the way around. Great. Well, at least there's no random encounters. That's true. I love it when RPGs that have those have like an item or something that like oh yeah relieves you of it. It's like Final Fantasy VIII right. <clears throat> has one. It's a uh, like your what the fuck your GM or your GFs your summons. You uh, they give you like additional spells you can learn from them. And it's called Encounter None, Encounter Half. You have to level it up. And, like, whenever you have a GF, it's your Guardian Force. You can level them up. Mm -hmm. And, like, they have, like, a, like, two pages of things you can learn from them. Yeah. Like, attack, you know, Strength Junction, where you attack, attach a spell to your... <coughs> excuse me. Attach a spell to your Strength, motherfucker. And it, like, increases in health, etc. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. If anything, if we're going to play a Final Fantasy, you know, at some point, I kind of want you to play that one. Yeah, I wouldn't mind playing it. I mean, you don't have to play seven. You don't play them in order because they're kind of different games, you know, different stories, different worlds. Eight's a pretty cool one, man. I think you might like that one, dude. Okay. All right, let's check that out. All right, I, I think, uh, yeah, you need to go to the upper right. Yeah, but to get the, I have to go. I mean, just check it <clears> out. <throat> it's like the only way I haven't tried yet. Which way? Upper right. Right, but I'm trying to get on that. Oh, okay, now I get something. Uh, yeah. There you go. It's kind of stiff, is all. Almost. I can't go diagonally. No. Nah. But you can go down. Okay. Come on. That guy can fly, and he's like, you go get it. <coughs> what a jerk. No. All right. So here's one thing that bugs me about games like this and other games like Quest 64. <laughs> you have these items that supposedly like radically enhance your power in these skills and stuff. And when you, the character, have them, they do jack shit. Really? <laughs> You've got all four of these things. Maybe it's the fact that they're in the mithril bags and you're not directly holding them or something. What? But like, there's no excuse for that. Like in Quest, it's like... The person you just fought to take this was magically enhanced by that element thing that you just took, but you get nothing. Hmm. What's the matter? I, never, I no, tried to play again. quest, but I never... Oh, water's gone. Without the energy of the elemental stars, the chamber is collapsing. Is this the terrible retribution the villagers spoke of? <laughs> what, they told you this was going to happen and you still came up several here? several decades they've Man, been telling Creighton. you this. No, this must be more of alchemy's power. But more power because you took the power out. Whew, it's over. But what was that? What is that? No. Oh, oh that looks like something right out of Chrono Trigger. The rock, it's floating. Do you know what it is, Isaac? No. Me neither. It looks like someone is using synergy to lift it. Could that be the wise one? <laughs> looks like a wise one. Yeah. I mean, I looked right at him and I thought, he looks wise. Such power. Incredible. <coughs> wow. <laughs> it's a fucking <laughs> eyeball. There's like a testicle with an eyeball on it, man. There's veins on it. 
It must be the guardian of the elemental stars. Well, it did a piss poor job of keeping you from taking them. This doesn't look good. Maybe we should just escape while we can. It smells like a jock strap in here. <laughs> but we need the Mars star. We can't leave it behind. I agree with Felix. We're no match for the guardian. The Mars star will have to wait for another day. What about Isaac and Garrett? You can't just... Forget about them. They won't make it out alive. But Satyros, there's still a chance they might survive. Anything is possible, so what do you suggest we do? We take this Jenna with us. If they survive, they will want her back. And if they want her back, they will bring us the star. Regardless, Creighton must come with us. He is connected to all of this. Alex, are you breaking our promise? Conditions have changed since we made that promise. Jenna's not any part of this. I won't let you hurt her. Do what you will with me. Just let Jenna go. Your bravery speaks well of you, old man, but you cannot help Jenna now. If we leave Jenna, she will surely die. Is that what he wants, Felix? Perhaps we ought to continue this elsewhere, Felix. Shit's all crashing around him. Felix! <clears throat> Please, can we go now? Let's make haste. Hey, don't push my sister. Who do you think you're talking to? You owe us your life. Minardi. I told you not to use my name. Master Creighton, you will be joining us, of course. For some reason, Minority and Satyros kind of remind me of Androids 17 and 18. Hmm. Yeah, kind of. Isaac, Garrick, don't die. <clears throat> the Mars Star. It's a pity that we have to leave it, but perhaps we'll be seeing it soon. This turned out badly, wouldn't you say? No. How can you be so calm at a time like this? Jenna and Graydon are gone. You don't think they'll hurt Jenna and Graydon, do you? Yeah. Yeah, they'll be safe. Felix is there. wonder what would happen if you just did 100% like the pessimistic answer all the time. I don't know. This really is terrible. It has no bearing on the plot. I bet it wouldn't do anything. Yeah, probably. We've got a long not. way to go if we're going to make it out of here. If anything, like... you, you would get extra dialogue. Because <coughs> you get them having to be like, what the yeah. hell's wrong with you? <laughs> we're in big trouble. Yeah. Quit acting so tough. Let's get out of here. <laughs> See, he just would have been like, let's go. Yeah, it's pretty... Hey, Isaac. Isaac, come over here. Come on, we've got to go. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Why are you standing there? Oh, you're, you're already looking at it. Dude. This place has become dangerous. Oh, it's talking. Yeah. You're the dangerous one. Ooh, it <coughs> synergy. It's just over just, just pumping itself like Ugh. The volcano will soon erupt. I cannot hold it long. You must leave this place.
The elemental djinn, they have returned. Take out the elemental star. <laughs> no! <laughs> Isaac cannot resist. <laughs> the game just straight up told you. <laughs> oh, he likes that. Return it to its bag. The elemental stars are moving away from here. Without the power of the elemental stars to contain it, the magma flows freely once again, and this chamber is collapsing. So that's all the gin. There will be no chamber to... Do what? I don't know. I skipped it. The world will be exposed to the threat <laughs> of alchemy. Alchemy? A threat? It can be a dangerous power if it is misused. The elemental stars ignite the flames of the four lighthouses. That power will be released. As long as the four lighthouses remain unlit. Very interesting. Chosen one or powerful one he is. <coughs> Volcano, it's erupting. Flee now. But how? Ah, I see. I will help you. <laughs> I thought you could do this on your own. You have retreat, don't you? <laughs> oh, okay. Back in the lunar room. That floating eye thing <laughs> save us? No! <laughs> yeah, right. Let's get out of here. Alright. Save. <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> Fucking set us. Alright. Is there still random battles? I don't know. Probably cast retreat or whatever like we just discussed <laughs> it didn't work last time but try it retreat okay yeah uh, it's a synergy you got oh okay it's a thing that makes it so you don't gotta run back through dungeons oh nice that's what's up dude I like that mm -hmm. they have that they have an item in suit code that does that see look at that shit right to the entrance it's pretty great Save. Oh no, why did I let them go up there? I thought Mount Aleph was inactive. Oh, my grandson, will Garrett be safe in this eruption? Uh. <coughs> no. Grandpa, we don't even know if he's up there. But Sis somehow saw him and his friends climbing Mount Aleph. They were hanging around here while I was on guard duty. <laughs> Isaac and Garrett went to Mr. Creighton's house. Didn't they say they were studying alchemy? <laughs> Why didn't we stop them from learning? <laughs> yes, they did, but what does that have to do with the eruption? Uh-oh, it's Grandpa and the others. What should we do, Isaac? Should we go back <laughs> up? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Garrett! Isaac! You're safe! Come over here, both of you. Mm, trouble now. Where have you been? Have you been causing volcanoes to erupt? No. Tell me what happened. Weren't Jenna and Creighton with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they were they were taken away? This is all very complicated. <laughs> 
We'll need you to tell us exactly what happened on the mountain. Come into the sanctum, both of you. I'm surprised it doesn't ask you right now. Right. Do you okay. want to go into the sanctum? <laughs> but you have to go in the sanctum. The game won't continue until you go into the sanctum. Let no, me ask again. Damn it. <coughs> Whoa, it's sepia town. Okay. Just recounting. And then we're both sad. And then I took out my big sword and I slashed the wild mushroom. And then <laughs> Jenna cast Cure. Actually, it must have been Isaac because Jenna doesn't have Cure. Jenna has Cure. We had no idea. The true sanctum. And Jenna and Creighton, they're prisoners? No. Well, we can only hope they're all right. <laughs> Do you think they can be saved? God, all these questions. No. Then our hopes must lie with Felix. What is it, great healer? You have been very quiet. Does anyone want to sleep? <laughs> it's like you're a thousand miles away. That hovering stone, the one that appeared before Isaac. <clears throat> what about it? It's creepy. I have seen it before in my dreams. In my mind's eye, it appeared again just now and spoke to me. <laughs> so that's why you were babbling in the corner. <laughs> You saw it just now? It must have been the wise one, guardian of the elemental stars. It told me what happened to you in Soul Sanctum. We also just told you what happened to us in Soul Sanctum. So what does the wise one say about the eruption? He told me you went to Soul Sanctum. <laughs> Would the volcano destroy Vale? Whoa. <coughs> It is impossible to stop the eruption now. It's the wise one talking about it. Will Vale be? Vale will be safe. The wise one will prevent the lava from reaching us. <clears throat> Something. Maybe that's just the communications coming to him. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, great healer? The village will be destroyed, won't it? Something even more dreadful than Vale's destruction looms ahead. What could be worse than the destruction of Vale? <laughs> A terrible power. The elemental star gems house incredible power. And Vale has been guarding those gems? The elemental lighthouses will loose that power upon the world. Once the power of the gems has been released, the whole world will... Something. <clears throat> the wise one wants us to get the gems back, doesn't he? This world is ours to save or destroy. Our inaction may bring about its destruction. What a pity. We cannot hope for salvation. We must save ourselves. Then what can we do? Acquiring the elemental stars is their fate alone. <laughs> Shove it off on the kids. Are you suggesting we place the fate of the world? In the hands of Isaac and Garrett? <laughs> Garrett is only a child. You can't expect him to bear such a burden. <coughs> Isaac, on the other hand. <laughs> the wise one has spoken. 
Each of you shares responsibility for this. Now each of you must make your own decision. <laughs> really? Did we get the decision? <laughs> Finally. I don't know what to do, Isaac. You decide. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Isaac, will you accept responsibility for the failure of the land? <laughs> no. I can't blame you. I couldn't do it if I were in your shoes. Alright, fuck y'all. <laughs> okay. Alright, this is Retro New. Josh plays Golden Sun Blind. This is Josh signing out.